Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Galaxy S8's navigation buttons on other phones. Now first let me give you a heads up. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the Exposed Framework install. And since Exposed isn't available for Nougat yet, that means you'll need to be running Marshmallow or lower. But if you're interested and you meet those requirements, we've got a couple of guides that'll get you squared away at the full tutorial on GadgetX. But anyway, the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are the first Samsung flagships to use on-screen navigation buttons. So it's the first time we get to see Samsung's design style on the back home reset keys. To be honest, I'm personally not that big of a fan, but they're definitely different and different's always cool. What's even better is the fact that developer Prithvi has already created an exposed module to get you these buttons on other phones. And it should work on basically any device that has an on-screen navigation bar. So if you want to try it out, just head to the download section in your exposed installer app and search for Galaxy S8 navigation bar, then tap the top result. From there, swipe over to the versions tab and hit the download button next to the most recent entry. After that, just tap install when prompted then give it a few seconds and tap the activate and reboot button on the notification that comes up. Once you get back up, you'll already have the Galaxy S8's navigation buttons. It's really that easy. They're fully functional and they have the same ripple effects your buttons have always had. But one thing you might notice is how the layout is probably backwards when you compare it to the S8's buttons. So if you really want that authentic Samsung look, one suggestion I have is to install another exposed module called Gravity Box. Then head to the navigation bar tweak section where you can swap the back and recent apps buttons. Aside from that, make sure to check out the full tutorial on GadgetHacks.com and as always, we'd appreciate any feedback in the comment section below. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.